Hey, what is going on? I'm Dave from Dane Dodd, and I'm back with another new video for the Logic Early 2 after a very long time. So, in this video, we're gonna install and check out Carbon ROM for the Logic Early 2. So, if you don't know about Carbon ROM, Carbon ROM is an AOSP based ROM which offers great performance and a pretty decent amount of customization options. So now in order to install the ROM, as always, your device needs to have TWRP recovery installed. So if you haven't already, links for latest TWRP recovery will be in the description below. So do check it out. So now you need to download two zip files, the ROM and the Google Apps zip file. So unlike other custom ROMs, here you cannot flash open G apps. Instead, you have to flash beans caps. So I will leave a link to the XDA thread of beans caps in the description below. So download beans caps from that XDA thread. So now place both the ROM and the beans caps zip file in the internal storage of your device and power off your device and reboot into recovery mode by holding the volume up button and the power button together. So once in recovery mode, select wipe, swipe to wipe. Now select install and select the ROM file and swipe to flash. Now select the beans gaps zip file and swipe to flash. And now select reboot system. So now the device has booted up, so let me set up the ROM. So now I have finished setting up the ROM. Who's back? Okay, that's a really nice wallpaper. So in terms of bugs, it's the same thing with all Nougat ROMs. No support for Air Blaster, but it does a workaround. And as always, here's a card to the workaround video. Check it out. So now in terms of apps that come pre-installed with the ROM, the ROM has a modified version of Chrome known as Carbon Browser. And I really like it because the address bar or the search bar has been moved to the bottom which according to me makes a lot of sense. The ROM also has an option in the settings menu known as App Ops which is a permission manager. So you can basically manage app permissions from here. And there's also uh, another option under the settings menu which is known as Carbon Fibers which which contains all the customization options that comes with the ROM. And the ROM does have a pretty good amount of customization options. So it's not like Resurrection Remix where it's like crazy customization options, but instead it's like sort of in between something like Lineage OS and AICP. So you get all the basic customization options like recent apps, uh, memory bar, clear all button and these kind of stuff and you also get some additional customization options like notification blur recent apps blur so yeah you get the idea right it, it has a pretty decent amount of customization options and another thing that surprised me a lot is with the camera so the camera in nougat roms works perfectly fine now but the issue with camera in nougat roms is that when you try to record videos above full HD like when you try to record at quad HD or 4k the camera app will crash but in this ROM I was able to record videos at quad HD and the camera app did not crash and that surprised me a lot because I have used a lot of custom ROMs on Lotu and almost all of them have that issue and I don't know it wasn't present in this ROM 
so I was surprised. And ROM also has support for rootless substratum built in, so you don't have to root the ROM to get substratum working. And ROM is not pre rooted as you might have guessed. So if you want to use some banking applications or if you want to play Pokemon Go, well, this ROM is great for you because it's not pre rooted and you don't have to root it to get substratum working. So that's a pretty neat thing. And the last thing I like about this ROM so much is the performance and how snappy it is. So I have used a lot of custom ROMs on Ludo. I have used Lineage OS, AICP, Resurrection, Remix, you name it, I have used it. So Lineage OS, AICP, they are fast, but, but the Pure Nexus Project ROM, which we saw some time earlier in the channel, just blew it all away because it was so freaking fast. I mean, it was so snappy, even when compared to that of something like Lineage OS. So I was like, well, that's a really fast ROM. But then this Carbon ROM is like, it's like a Pure Nexus Project ROM with more customization options. Because in Pure Nexus Project ROM, you don't get that much customization options. But here you get a lot of customization options. But still, the ROM is just so fast. And so yeah, this ROM is right next to Pure Nexus Project ROM in terms of snappiness. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video guys. If you liked this video, you know what to do. Go down and hit the like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And what do you think about this ROM? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And I will see you guys later.